Okay, this is Shark Evolution Part 2. Before we uh, described how Credolamma eventually evolved into the giant megalodon shark. Now we're going to examine the evolution of the great white, which is a distant cousin of the megalodon. Here again we start at Credolamna, and over time they evolved into Isurolamina and Flata. And then into Isurus Precursor, which is considered to be the earliest Mako shark. And then they evolved into Isurus Astalis. Um, this is the narrow form Isurus Astalis. And over time, Isurus Astalis evolved into the broader form of Isurus Astalis which is also known as Cosmopolitan Cyphodon. These more colorful teeth here came from Bakersfield, California, a, a region known as Shark Tooth Hill. Um, very popular for, for uh, the, the uh, crazy colors that come out of the sediment there. Like I said, the Isurus Astalis is the direct ancestor of the Great White. And over time, just like the Odidus transition to the Ricolatus, they started developing faint serrations um, to consume more of a, ma a marine mammal diet. They evolved into the uh, transitional great white, which is a very lightly serrated form. And this is the very earliest of the transitional forms. You can see very faint microscopic serrations. And this one's slightly more serrated, as is this one. And a later form transitional, they have a very large irregular serrations near the base but they taper off to a nearly smooth blade near the tip these are fully modern great whites from different locations they max out around three inches very rare for them to reach that size though this one here is from Peru these two also are from Peru. This one's from Chile. It's a Chilean too. This one's just interesting because it has uh, uh, bite marks in it where you can see those scratches there caused from serrations when uh, it was eating something and it fell out and he bit down on his own tooth. It's a very large one from, uh, I think, South Carolina. It's two two and a half plus. Have a quick comparison of a neonatal great white and a neonatal megalodon. Compare the size. And this one is from on the red site in South Carolina. It's a very rare location. It's kind of cool. It's got two tone serrations. Kind of cool coloration on that one. These are fully modern, also from an old collection. If you uh, intend to purchase modern great white shark teeth like that, be careful not to buy poached teeth, only ones that come before the uh, fishing ban in the uh, 1990s. The great white is believed to have evolved in the, in the Pacific Ocean because that's where they find the transitional forms of that species. It, mostly in, uh, along the uh, in the desert of Peru and Chile, for instance, all these are from Peru except for this one is from Chile. 
even rarer occasions, sometimes the Peruvian teeth can be translucent as well, which is just amazing. You can also do a quick comparison. You have Isura lamina inflata, Isura's precursor, Isura's estalis narrow form, Isura's estalis broad form, a transitional great white, fully modern great white. And as we described how the great white descended from Isura's precursor, it also evolved into some other species as well. This is uh, Isurus deseri, which is an early form of the uh, short fin mako, of what we think of as a short fin mako. And also into the long fin mako, this is Isurus retroflexus, which is the ancestor of the modern long fin mako. And another offshoot of the uh, narrow form Isurus estalis is the Isurus planus, which is also known as hook tooth mako. These are only found in the P Pacific coast or the west coast. Um, almost only. These are almost only found in Bakersfield, California and a few other small locations on the Pacific Ocean. You can see these uh, crazy coloration sometimes comes from um, Bakersfield, California, really popular with collectors. And also that same coloration can be found in um, Isurus cystalis or broad tooth makos that are found in Bakersfield. Sometimes they're even translucent, like this one. You can see it has uh, translucent qualities. This is part three, where I'm going to describe some other popular collector shark teeth. This is Paleocarcharodon, which is also known as the pygmy white shark. Uh, 